<coughs> excuse me so now i can mark this as b c d e f g h and again i have a so s simply what i have done is i have made developed this cone into this surface now if, if you want to see uh, if you want to look at an example i have this cone see i'll keep it here what happened was ki i had this cone i had this cone when i look at it from the top when i look at it from the top it is a circle right so i've drawn a circle now when i look at it from the side as you can see it is a rectangle so i have drawn a rectangle now when i have opened this surface these two these two were together now when i have opened this what happens is that if i keep it this way you'll be able to see that it is absolutely matching what it is matching this it is something of this sort see exactly similar to what i have a practical and the a practical solution and a paper solution both are same see this is the cone which i view from the top so i have this and when i view from the side so i have a rectangle so i have drawn a rectangle and this is the development of surface that i have so this is the solution of the problem which uh, is the fourth problem okay let's move on to a bit more complex problem than uh, this one a cylinder base diameter 60 mm lies on hp height of the cylinder is 75 mm a section plane uh, cuts the cylinder the, at the midpoint of the axis and making an angle of 45 degrees with respect to the horizontal we need to draw the development of the cut cylinder so see we draw a cylinder before the only difference what we is going to be here is that we are going to cut this cylinder with the help of a plane and that plane would be at 45 degrees and it will be passing through the center of this uh, center that is the height the center of the height so let's first draw the cylinder the front view and the top view of the cylinder right so the diameter uh, that is given to me is of 60 mm so i'll take the radius as 30 mm and i will draw a circle this is the center and i will make it red this time so it's visible to you the next part is obviously dividing it into eight parts as we have we have done all day long oh sorry all engineering graphics long <laughs> because the whole thing about engineering graphics syllabus is dividing things into parts so that is a great practice for you which you had so now you have divided it into eight parts so being a cylinder you will have two points that is a1 a2 top and bottom b1 b2 c1 c2 d1 d2 e1 e2 f1 f2 g1 g2 h1 and h2 okay quickly we shall move on and draw the projectors upwards okay now using my pencil what i'll do is i'll first draw the uh, side, front view of the uh, front view of this uh, cylinder i'll tell you why once i'm done drawing this say i've taken this as my base right now from the base the height that is given to me is of 75 mm so i will take 75 mm and i'll cut it here and 75 mm cut here and i shall draw a straight line chalo so this is the cylinder that i have what i want is i want the midpoint of uh, this now so what i'll do is 7.5 mm uh, sorry 75 mm 75 mm divided by 2 is what 
it is 33.5 uh, not 33.5 30, uh, 32.5 not 32.5 36.5 I'm so, uh, 37 37.5 I'm sorry 37.5 so this is the center that I have now I'll draw an imaginary straight line and then from this straight line I will have an angle of 45 degrees now why I'm taking this angle of 45 degrees is because I need a plane that should cut 45 degrees at 45 degrees so this is the plane which will cut at 45 degrees right now I will make it dark see the this sector this sector which is above this line would be eradicated so what I'm uh, doing is I'm, I'm drawing it with red the part that I'm drawing with red will be omitted out okay so this whole part which is there I'll also draw these lines these are actually not visible lines so this part this old part which is there in red will be omitted out okay now the part which I'm drawing in uh, blue or oh, say I'll draw it with orange this part that I'm drawing with orange will be visible to us or will be left over for us this is also there and the black section is what actually has cut this into different parts so I have this I will mark the base points first as I always do this is very important a2 dash b2 dash and h2 dash c2 dash g2 dash uh, D1 dash F1 dash and E1 dash right that's covered the above points I'll mark them also A1 dash B1 dash H1 dash C1 dash G1 dash D1 dash F1 dash oh sorry these are all two 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 and this is E1 dash and the points which I encounter on these lines I will mark them as one two three four five six seven eight and again one so these are the actual points that are visible to me and the rest of the, these points will be gone away I will just develop the normal surface that I used to develop using this cylinder so using this cylinder I will have to first calculate the pi d pi d is uh, uh, 60 which is given to me uh, is my length so I'll just calculate it right so 60 into 3.14 which is 188.4 so I will approximately take it as 180 uh, 188 point so 18.84 centimeters so 18 point uh, you can take it as 19 centimeter also but it is advisable that you take it as accurate as possible now I'll draw the projector of these lines quickly yeah so my first point is perfect uh, first I'll draw it with pencil again because I don't know which are my visible parts and which are not my visible parts right so 18.8 centimeters so I'll take it as 18.8 centimeters this is 15 another 3 18.8 so it's just about at the end of the paper right. yeah so the pi d is 18 188.4 so it is almost equivalent to 19 so this I've taken now I have to divide this into how much I'll divide this by how many parts? 8 parts. So I have 23.5. So 23.55, that is, I'll take 23.55 on my 23.55 is uh, 2.355 centimeters. 2.355 is somewhere around here. 
Okay, let's start cutting the arcs. Successive arcs. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, there is some mistake that I did. Wait a sec. Okay, I'm sorry. So, okay, let's do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Finally, I have it. So, I'll draw straight lines. Oh, wait. I'll do this upstairs also. So here we go. Right. So I have done this and I will just mark with my pencil that which is the point that I have. So this is A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H and again A. So I'll this is two. All these are two because these are base. So I have taken the base point as two, and these are A1, A2, A3. Oh sorry, uh, A1, B1, C1, D1, E1, F1, G1, H1, and again I this is A1. So it's very simple now. What you need to do is see, you have this, uh, you know A1, A2. It is here as a1 dash and a2 dash you just need to take the measurement of a2 to 1 and then mark it on this line and this line so if it is on b line then you can take the distance on b line and mark it if it is on c line you can take the distance and mark it on c line if you on g line then you mark it on this side so i'll take on a mark on a then b and h are same so i'll mark on b as well as on h c and g are again same so i'll mark on c as well as on g so let's start then it goes on and finally we have all the eight parts divided into the segments that it is cut again the a so i have i cutting a line here and cutting a line here see th th there is another way of doing this you can just extend projectors from this line but it would be quicker if you just take the measurement on your compass and then directly cut an arc because that will be accurate also and there are there is no scope for any uh, then no margin for errors no scope for errors b and h are same so i'll mark on b and i'll mark on h the next comes is c and g c and g 3 c has this g has this d and f d has this length and f has this length i'm sorry yeah and finally the small part which is the final of E. Yeah. Now let's see which is our visible part. All the points which are below, the, uh, all the line which is below these lines are visible part. So this is visible. This is visible. And this line is visible. Right. These are uh, just supporting lines so you need, need not mark it exactly on paper these are just light lines which will be there now let's mark the outline of it i'll just turn the paper a bit because it's going to be a curve see it's going to be like this it goes up uh, down and goes up again it's just like a sine curve or you can say a uh, more like a cos curve so i'll just mark points first these are the points which are available to me which have to be joined and now using this blue sketch pen I will uh, I'll just mark these lines. Use, it will be a smooth curve. It will never be a pointed line. It will be always a smooth curve. So remember that you have to make it as a smooth curve. The more smooth the curve, the more marks you get because it's a more accurate. Right? Now all the region which is this 
and this is not to be done this is just uh, i am making you to understand that uh, what is the solution uh, of this problem this is the solution has been achieved okay and you can mark the numbers as 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 and finally one again so this is the solution that you have achieved the area which is available to us which is still there is this area all this area which is below this line this whole area is available to us and this is cut off by this section plane uh, which i will uh, these are all reds which are not available to us this whole thing has been cut off by the section plane from this cylinder which was there understood so this is the solution of the problem which is problem number 5 this uh, marking has uh, should not be done this is just to make you understand that which part is the solution and which part is just uh, drawn in pencil which is just supporting that uh, it was there but it has been chopped off by the plane okay let's quickly move on to the uh, final problem for today and we'll be having this birthday cap which will actually explain this problem first we'll read the read it out so the sixth problem tells us to draw the plan and elevation of a cone resting on hp on its base we need to show on them the shortest path followed by a uh, fly moving around the cone and returning on the same position on the fly fly starts from the uh, a point on the periphery of the base so take the base uh, diameter as 60 and the slant height as 100 so see i have this cone with me again which i brought what it is what is it saying is that there is a fly okay makhi it is starting from a point on the periphery and it is moving around any way it likes but it is traveling on the shortest distance that it should be able to go on the whole circumference and come back to the same point now how is that possible and how we are going to make it out is simple first of all what we do is we develop the surface of this okay now once we have developed the surface what we do is we take one end point which is uh, this point we take this point as the initial uh, point of the uh, fly which is starting on the periphery because it is there on the periphery the whole thing this whole thing is a periphery okay so it starts from here and it ends on here why because it is a straight line see i'll draw a straight line on this